Water, water everywhere. The world is addicted to the convenience of plastic bottles. A 2017 study estimated that a million single-use bottles are sold worldwide every minute. It's thought only one in seven are recycled, mostly to make fabric or other plastics. But in our disposable economy, it's usually cheaper and easier to just dump them and make new ones. Researchers in Scotland have potentially found a valuable use for some of that waste in the most unexpected of places, in plain old vanilla. So I put my chemistry hat on and looked at the, the molecules that actually make plastic and thought, well, what could we turn that into that would be more valuable than the waste plastic? And I came up with vanillin because it's such an important molecule. Vanillin is the molecule that gives natural vanilla its taste. The huge demand to use it in foods, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals outstrips the global crop. So it's usually synthesised from petrochemicals, but never before from plastic waste. Scientists used enzymes to break down the plastic polymer into what are called monomer molecules, namely terephthalic acid. They then used engineered E. coli bacteria to turn the monomer into a vanillin molecule. The whole process takes about three days. I think one bottle would give you enough for baking a cake, more than enough, probably enough for a cake sale. What we now need to do is develop it further and do more studies to optimise the process and scale it up and find ways to extract very pure samples of vanillin such that it is safe for consumers. It's potentially a win-win solution, according to an industry body focused on a circular economy for plastics. What was super interesting about this example was that it's very, in, in some ways, upcycling. So it's increasing the value. A big part of the work that we're doing collaboratively is to figure out how do you make that recycling system and that recirculation system uh, as efficient as possible and optimized as possible so that it economically does make sense. But until our Sundays are made from old soda bottles, the best bet will be to reduce and reuse. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.